And Fox News' Carl Cameron is in Cleveland as preparations are underway. Carl, what's the buzz tonight, one day before the two debates? Hi, Greta. Well, the candidates are beginning to arrive here in Cleveland. Rick Santorum and Marco Rubio both arriving here tonight, and the rest of the field will be coming at various times tomorrow. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker is going to be a little bit later than the rest of the crowd because he's got to open up the Wisconsin State Fair tomorrow in his home state, something he's done as long as he's been governor. Uh, of course, everybody's wondering what's going to happen. We'll have the, the first debate at 5 o'clock in the afternoon with the seven candidates who did not make the top 10, uh, and then the big primetime debate at 9 o'clock. And all your conversation there in the previous uh, segment, Donald Trump has said himself that he wants it to be, have a, be a civil debate. Uh, that he doesn't want to take the first punch. He calls himself a counterpuncher throughout this campaign and says that each time he said something nasty about another candidate, it's because he felt provoked and they'd said something disparaging about him. Uh, but he has called the rest of the field incompetent and losers and said that the politicians in Washington and elsewhere in the country uh, aren't getting the job done so that you need somebody new like him. Uh, but Trump needs to do two things, really. Uh, show that he can really plausibly fill the office of president. Uh, it's not so much a, always a comparison against the people against the, the stage for the Republican primary. It's, there's going to be a Democratic nominee, but there's also the historic nature of the office. And he has to look like he can actually fill the suit and the seat uh, at the desk. And in addition to that, the way to do it really is to show a real knowledgeability of, of policy. And so far, when he's been asked questions, he usually talks about what, what a great job he'll do, but not how. And that's something that I think you're going to see him have to answer for. Uh, beyond that, uh, you, he's the front runner, so he's got the most to lose. That means some folks at the other end uh, have a lot to gain by making a lot of noise. Jeb Bush has to watch out because he'll be standing literally next to uh, Mr. Trump. And Scott Walker, who's slipped in the polls recently, has to prove to conservatives that he really shares their policy convictions and he's not evolving on any anymore. Uh, and that his winning record in Wisconsin can translate beyond the Midwest. We're here in Ohio, he's from Wisconsin. How he does in New Hampshire and South Carolina, where the first two primaries are, two very different regions of the country. Tonight, tomorrow night's an opportunity for him to introduce them. Uh, Greta? Carl, Carl, thank you.